The Association of Southeast Asian Nations is comprised of 10 Asian countries and seeks to eliminate tariffs, accelerate economic growth, and promote peace and stability in the region. Mercosur is comprised of four South American countries. It eliminated almost all trade barriers between the nations and established a broad social agenda focusing on education, labor, culture, the environment, justice, and consumer protection. Before a domestic manufacturer can begin engaging in direct sales in a foreign country, they must decide which of three potentially conflicting laws will govern the transaction. The United Nations Convention on Contracts for the International Sale of Goods, the CISG, governs contracts between two parties from two signatory countries unless they specifically opt out. It must also be decided where disputes will be settled and in what language and currency the transactions will take place. Parties may also require a letter of credit, which is a bank's guarantee of payment. A company can also decide to engage in indirect sales through a distributor in a foreign country. The choice of law, legal forum, language, and currency are the same as with direct sales. The company must also determine if the distributor will be an exclusive dealer, meaning that they will not carry any competing lines of goods. The company may have to agree to let the foreign country be the exclusive distributorship and not let any competing distributors sell your goods. The company must also be careful not to violate antitrust laws. The European Antitrust Law from the Treaty of Rome outlaws any agreement, contract, or discussion that distorts competition within EU countries. The American Antitrust Law from the Sherman Act controls anti-competitive conduct that harms the American market. In the event of a conflict, International comedy requires one court to respect the other legal system and decline to hear a suit if it would be more logical to be resolved in the other country. Licensing means giving a foreign company rights to produce your product. When a company decides to do this, they have to be certain that the country they're dealing with will honor the patents and trademarks. The repatriation of profits refers to when some countries allow profits made by foreign investors to be taken back home. Others don't allow this. Expropriation means that in some cases private businesses can be bought for a fair price by the government without consent. Most nations respect the principle of sovereign immunity in which courts of one nation lack the jurisdiction or power to hear suits against foreign governments. In the United States, the Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act states that American courts cannot hear cases against a foreign country, even in expropriation cases. There are three exceptions. When the country waives this protection, when the suit is over commercial activity, and when the foreign country has a legally confiscated property which has ended up in the United States. The Act of State Doctrine requires an American court to abstain from any case in which a court order would interfere with the ability of the President or Congress to conduct foreign affairs. Investment insurance is a wise business expenditure when investing abroad. In 1971, Congress established the Overseas Private Investment Corporation to ensure U.S. investors against overseas losses due to political violence and expropriation. The Foreign Corrupt Practices Act makes it illegal for an American business person to give anything of value to a foreign official in order to influence an official decision. In many countries, bribery is commonplace but foreign bribery is still against the FCPA. If a country's written laws allow bribery, although few do, it is not a violation of the FCPA. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD, produced a Convention of Combating Bribery of Foreign Public Officials in International Business Transactions. About 36 of the world's largest trading nations have ratified the convention. 
The world is one economy with every country linked in countless financial ways to almost every other. To conduct business today is very often to engage in international commerce and that makes it important to understand the basics of international law. You made it through Chapter 9 on International Law. Now let's get started with the essay assignment quiz and discussion board.